Hi, uh, thanks for registering for the Get Mortgage Free in 7 Years webinar. I came up with this when I was at a seminar in London about 10 years ago and it was all business people uh, telling their stories, okay? that the only one who hadn't gone completely broke uh, were the guys involved in stocks and shares. But anyone who, who was involved in property had gone fierce broke completely, at least once. And um, one of those guys came up with this mathematical formula that does work, but it's more ranking debt and organizing your finances in a smart, intelligent way, and just once, all right? So by the time you finish watching this, it takes about 15 minutes, you'll know a lot more. Now I do have an offer for you at the end, if you want to stay to the end. Um, and if I was you, I would seriously consider it, okay? There you go. Kevin Barry is my name, okay? Just some things to do before we start. Make sure you can hear me, make sure the sound is up. Um, whether you're watching me on an iPhone or Skype, get rid of any distractions around you, okay? Turn off the phone, turn off the TV, put the dog out, and if you're a wife, put the husband out, and if you're a husband, put the wife out, you get the point. You know, put the kids to bed, all that stuff. Um, you don't need to be watching this two and three times, all right? Now, just in Ireland alone, just a little shocking statistic, and I got that about eight months ago. There's 130,000, it hasn't changed, 130,000 people behind on their mortgage alone. Now, I did get a write-off for some people this week, but um, that took me years of, of transparent and straight negotiation to organize. A lot of worry, pain and all that. So um, the write-offs aren't the solution all the time. But I'm gonna show you three things, I promise you that, okay? I'm going to show you how to get your earnings up smartly and without you being greedy and doing people out of money, okay, or stealing. Um, going to show you how to get some wasteful spending down, just remind you of it, okay. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to pay off, which is why, why you're on this, your mortgage within the seven years. I have a great life, okay. And I'll tell you why you can make a great life. If you're used to spending a certain amount of money, you know, just go straight to the bank or the county council to pay off your home mortgage, then uh, if you don't have to do that, you have that amount of money freeing up seven years from now. Now this does work, I've done it myself, and I've had other clients do it, okay? Just a quick one with myself, um, if you go onto our website, kevinbarryaccountants.ie, sorry, barryaccountants.ie, it's down there at the bottom, you will see an about us, or go onto LinkedIn, or Google me, it's all there, okay? Feel free to email me any questions. If you go on there to barryaccountants.ie, you can email in any questions and I will respond within 24 hours. Okay. Now the one thing I'll say is it's very hard to think when you're under financial pressure. This example of coming up is based on a real life uh, clients who we helped with a couple of years ago and the same numbers apply to you, it applies to anybody, anybody okay? Um, all right, I'll just give you the, the background. I'm an accountant myself, but Bill was an accountant. These names are fictional, by the way, um, but the situation isn't, and his wife Margaret, or Maggie, uh, worked from the home, raising the kids. He ran the business, and she was raising the kids, bringing them to school, helping them with the homework. By the time, by the time I met them, to clear their heads. They'd been married for 10 years. They were always arguing and fighting, interrupting each other, constantly worried. They couldn't think straight or write a check for fear it would bounce or what the bank would think or what people would think. And they were easily very stressed out uh, when they came in our door. So um, I put this system together at the time. So with their permission, I have used their details here, okay? Um, but this was typically what was coming in, like they weren't, you wouldn't think they were that tight, but there's so much going on. So, so after tax coming in the door, 4,500 every month. It pretty much averaged that all the time. That was the direct debits from the business account to the personal account, okay? Then out of that, they were paying their home mortgage, and I'll show you how much that is at the moment, uh, 1124 with the repayments, paying off their car, they had a couple of TVs and a three-piece suite on higher purchase, okay? The Visa cards were paying the minimum payments. Someone had talked them into paying money into a pension, which is fine, but 
you'll see in a minute they're about priorities because they might live to see that. There was some life assurance uh, on the mortgages. John O'God's was a contribution towards people with gambling or addiction issues. Booper was health assurance. Now that will always stay. Okay, don't let anyone talk into cutting that. Food, heat, oil all around the place. There's sky going to keep the kids quiet. Uh, lunches, mostly eating out, small lunches, nothing major, soup and sandwich. Entertainment every month, 500 a month, you wouldn't feel it. And then there's always something, you know, kids going to other people's birthdays, sleepovers, little thank yous, 200 quid a month, that's what that was working out at. But no matter what you did, I see there now that exceeded what was coming in. There's no room there for savings or anything. And that was the minimum payment on their mortgage. Okay. So they're 43 euros short a month. Doesn't sound too much when I say 43. Okay, but that's what it was. Where they stood financially was as follows. They had their home was worth 180,000. It's still not worth much more than that. Because properties aren't really, I know they're going up in rent wise, but the buying power isn't there to put uh, this four bedroom semi any higher than 180. The car was worth 10,000, but there was 10,000 owed in it. There was 200,000 owed on the mortgage on the house, which was a combination of the house is worth less than what they bought for it, and secondly, they weren't paying enough off the, you know, the, the house had dropped below what the mortgage was on it. Okay, they paid about 280 for that house. The furniture, there was 7,000 owed in it. I mean, that's in the house, that's really it. TV, 3216, what was up with them? Great idea at the time. Visa cars, 2,850. So they were 23,000 the wrong way. Now, it doesn't really matter what the wrong way is, it's the principle of it. And it's seeing what you own versus what you owe, okay? So the first thing is they've got to earn some more money because they're short anyway, okay? There's, very, there's various ways, they need to earn 10% more, right? That's our rule, 10%, right? So they either do better at their job, so adding more value so people pay more for that, or do more work more often, less downtime. Get a second job, wait tables, cut lawns, do bookkeeping for the people at home. Um, if, if another way you can get it is if you're, in, if you're working full time, is start a business on the side. It could be washing cars, it could be servicing people's uh, lawnmowers, whatever. Start a business full time. So in other words, if you're idle, like Maggie was in this case, is there some room for her to start a business part time or full time? Or partner up with somebody else? Okay, these are just some ways you could do it, but what happened with these people was the following. He was an accountant working for another accountant, okay? So he asked the boss if he, if it was possible to bring a, five, a bonus system in. So in other words, whatever the sales were averaging per month there, if they went above that and he was responsible for it, could he get a cut of that? So it was agreed a 5% bonus because he knew, you know, just by better time management, simple stuff, that he could get stuff billed a bit quicker, which would bring the monthly sales up and free up time the next month to do further work, okay? So if there was no incentive to do it, it was never going to happen. So the boss wins because he keeps 95% of that money and this guy brings home 5%. So that alone brought in an extra 200 a month extra for Bill, okay? Maggie just had a look at what she could do, typing on the phones, uh, emails, website work, okay? And she sent around a little flyer, which she did up Microsoft Word to a load of businesses that were within range of her. But two of them were local solicitors and one was an electrician. These were all Dublin and two carpenters as well come on after that. But effectively for three mornings a week, they would divert their phones to her. She would handle calls, take down the messages. She was clued in. She knew the questions to ask and the information to get, such as name, number, email, what's the main issue, okay? And then in the afternoon, she'd send one email to each of those guys, okay? And they would just respond to the messages. Hopefully they responded, but at least they had them, okay? Instead of people getting frustrated, ringing, ringing, ringing. But between the 250 months she earned extra, and it knocked nothing out of her because the kids are at school and his money 450 a month was earned so that's point one so we need to look at that point two then whatever earning it you don't want to be blowing it okay so this is the schedule again of where the money was going okay but the key thing is is 
simple when I say it, and you know it, is stop buying stuff you don't need, you know? So even there with the screen, if you go into a shop and you say, I like that shirt or I like that jacket, and pick up and buy it, rather than do that, you can always ask the cashier to hold it for you, or is there plenty of them there, and decide the next day do you really need it, okay? That alone would cut a load of this impulse buying, okay? If you were my client and you owned a shop, I would be working on getting people to impulse buy off you, you know? In this case, we want to stop the, the customer impulse buying. So, I'll stop buying stuff you don't need. I mean, there's loads of them. I was writing them down just before this started. I mean, do you need to buy lunch every day? Um, do you need to buy breakfast? I mean, you don't. If you keep receipts, you might stop overpaying your tax, keep receipts for dental and medical, keep receipts for you know parking charges, uh, turn off the data roaming on your phone, don't be buying toys for people who don't need them, okay? I mean, kids have too many toys. What are you buying them for, you know? They prefer to go outside and kick a ball, okay? Buy roads are free in Paddy Power and William Hill and all these places. In the supermarket, cream of the list, don't be buying, you know, a thank you card, handwritten. Who handwrites stuff anymore would mean more to people than sending a, 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 a bottle of wine around, okay? A card to say thank you for what you did for me. That is... You know, that personal touch means more than a simple gift. People have lots of stuff now. Newspapers, it's all online. You read it on your phone. I see a business uh, not a million miles away that is employing window washers when they have loads of staff themselves to do the, the cleaning. If you buy Starbucks, you wouldn't have to go out and pay for, you know, four or 50 for a Starbucks coffee. If you bought the packet for 450, you made 30 coffees out of it. If you have a debit card and you go to the ATM, there's no charges. You go to the ATM of your own bank, that tends to be the free one. Whereas you go to the ATM of other banks, they charge you. So this is just throwing away fivers and euros. Clothes, um, just where we need, buy quality in the first place. A mortgage and credit cards eat up debt. Pay-per-view, we'll talk, look at Sky in a minute, but do we need to do pay-per-view, go around somewhere else and watch it? Okay, so these are ideas on, on how to stop wasting money and if you look at your own life you'll find more I mean buy petrol at the cheapest place or if there's a free car wash on a Saturday with with a fill of petrol go for that or these buy coal for the house in bulk okay but by Bill and Maggie looking at this right this is where they made the savings so what we discovered was the 31 euros they thought was going towards life assurance was actually a savings scheme um, Really, it was kind of sold to them that there'd be some savings in the insurance. So, but really, it was just, it was a waste of time. You know, they're paying huge interest out on loans and trying to save small money on the side. Waste of time. So we cut that, 31 euros a month there. Save a Irish life, another savings team. John of Gods, listen, if they have a load of money made in a few years, they can afford to throw a good lump sum of John of Gods rather than 15 euros a month. So that was blocked. Um, the pension, but might live to see it. We've other priorities at the moment, all right. And rather than blindly throwing, I mean, one fifty a month wasn't enough anyway to give them any type of a lifestyle. But by cutting their debt and therefore cutting their interest bill, and maybe their tax bill, that would give them a better future. Okay. We got rid of the pay per view stuff on the Sky because just cut it. Okay. And straight, well, straight away within a week, Sky rang up offering them. A different type of deal for six months then you cut again you can live without sky so you can move to free to air eventually but the 30 euros 60 euros are saved immediately but 30 euros is what they went back paying when sky phoned them up um they're spending 500 a month in entertainment 100 a month was saved on staying in one night every three weeks uh, and cooking in or eating over you know bringing a nice plate or something over to someone else's house and doing a come down with me it was great crack different couples and everyone kind of does voting and all this, you know. Okay, and rather than eating out lunch, soup and sandwich every day or buying coffees, you know, they bought a takeaway cup and were saving 100 euros a month by having sandwiches and work three days a week instead of going out and spending more money on nothing. Some people cons console themselves by saying, well, when I'm out, I'm networking. Well, generally they're not, they're just saying hi in a coffee shop. That's all they're doing. Networking is different. You know, there is this thing, never lunch alone. If your networking is a lunch, that's fine. I wouldn't even come in here, okay? So, the next thing, 
anyway is what we did with that money okay okay now this all this can happen very fast okay you start earning more you start spending less okay but this is where the money was going remember that okay and this is what they owned remember that so the first thing was we had to look at their debt so when I looked back at what they owed see these items here one two three four five six one two three four five six the two hundred twenty three thousand and sixty six that they owed okay we rent it when you look at the repayments of each of them so 1124 is what's being paid currently on the home mortgage 202 on the five year carrier 222 on the furniture higher purchase and so on okay where you divide the repayments into the balance owing trust me on this it kind of gives you an indication of how much debt is left on them so for instance with the mortgage there there was almost 15 years left on that mortgage, okay? And then with a the five year loan carrier, there was just over the four years. And someone on the furniture, just over the three. And the lowest one anyway was the Visa card number one, where 131 into 2000 owing on it. I know there's 100% interest nearly, um, but effectively, they would have that paid off in 15 months if they kept at the 131 was the way so we looked at which one had the shortest way to go so visa card one had the shortest way to go the tv higher purchase with the repayments first what was owing on it had the second shortest visa card number two had the third shortest the furniture higher purchase had the fourth the car loan the fifth and the home mortgage the sixth okay but between all of that if you add up how much was only in all of those they calculated there was 27 years worth of debt that they were paying off in different ways in different periods and different times some of these there's a tax break on some of them there isn't okay and in this guy's case was no tax break on any of it but if there's a tax break on some of it you know that's handy but you don't keep the non-tax break going longer so this is what happened after that so there's the 1842 per month they were paying out See here, 1842, 1842. The 454 that they were earning by spending less, and the 450 they were earning by earning more, okay, it was 904 extra. So we added that to the 1842 that they were just meeting. And they've 2746 to pay off per month, okay? So what happens is you apply the extra 904 to number one. So 904 plus the, the 131 okay is what we're going to address first so I'll show you what occurs right so priority number one was visa card number one and by paying off 1035 a month as opposed to the 15 quid two months later we have the first visa card cleared okay then you move on to the second ranking, which was the TV higher purchase, okay? So here then, you add the 904, which is the extra money, plus the 131 we no longer have to spend on that Visa card. Now you're still spending out the full amount here, plus the 130 that's already going. That means about 1165. Three months later, we have the TV higher purchase paid off, okay? Then we need to ranking number three. Okay, and here we take the 1165 plus the 33 euros that's already being spent on that Visa card and getting us nowhere really. And it's gone in a month. Okay, so now we've got rid of the two Visa card debt. You don't want to start running it up again and the TV higher purchase. Then you move on to number four. Okay, and so on. So as eventually you've a big lump going with what's there and as you clear one item you bring that money with you to the next one so we're constantly spending the 2746 per month we're constantly earning the 10% extra we're constantly cutting out spending the 10% more okay and we end up getting up here where we have the full 2746 
as opposed to 1124 going against the mortgage every month okay and instead of that taking 178 months to clear off we were done in 73 and when you add up what you've really spent time wise paying these items off that's just over the seven years okay to clear all that debt okay and at this stage then you're used to having two seven four six of money going out now you can throw plenty of money at John and God's, throw in plenty of money at your pension, plenty of money at investments for the kids after that. But it's all down to earning a bit more, spending a bit less, okay? So what have I just shown you? I've shown you how to increase your, your, your own money coming in, reduce the, the waste of money going out, okay? And how to apply it in ranking the debt against your personal debt, okay? This gets rid of personal debt then, you're grand, you're grand, you would know yourself, okay? There's loads more you can do, but that's it. Now, if you have any questions or answers, just go on to my website, barryaccountants.ie. There's a contact form there and email me, okay? And secondly, if you want, we do do for 250 euros a once off that we'll get the details from you, we'll rank your debt and we'll tell you exactly how much to pay. And once a year, we'll check into you for a nominal fee, like 50 quid, we'll just look it over and see how it's going, okay? But 250 once off gets you going, okay? Feel free to do it yourself, have a shot at it. Um, but if you come to us, you'll have your seven year debt payoff ranking done, signed off. And I'm quite quick with it. I just get the information from it. You've got to do a little bit of digging. That doesn't matter whether you're dealing with me or with somebody else or yourself. You have to dig out the information so that we can work on what the reality is. Everything is strictly confidential and will stick with you okay but nothing will happen unless you make it happen all right so that's how it works thanks for listening bye for now